What's up guys, this is Iceman804 and I'm bringing you guys a Sony Vegas rendering tutorial. I'm going to show you guys what's the best quality to use uh, for maybe commentaries or montages, you know, so let me get into it. Alright, first you grab your clips, just going to get any clip for you guys, it doesn't really matter. Uh, no, this is Gears of War 1, get a Gears 3 clip here. Alright, just a little blind fire. Alright. First thing you do is right click, go to properties, disable, resample, and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Alright, nice and full. We got a good. What you may want to do is uh, make this 1280 by 720 so it's not a weird video preview. So it's nice and full, and you can see what you're doing. So, anyways, this is a nice little blind fire. And uh, to render this in good quality, you may want to add some effects. You can go first to video effects and add a color curves if you would like. And maybe bump up. You double click around about right here and bump up the highs and turn down the lows. So that brings out a little bit of the color and you can add some brightness and contrast a contrast on about point ten and add HSL adjust bump up the saturation to about 120 one point two zero. and you could even add levels if you wanted to I think that'd be kind of an overkill if you're using curves I really wouldn't use levels but uh... you can use that as well I think uh, levels and HSL adjust and brightness and contrast are fine so you can just take off curves or you could leave curves and take off levels uh, so for this one I'm just gonna leave the curves on if you guys would like to know how to keyframe an effect um, I'll teach you guys maybe you wanna have it start off really blurry and then fade into the clips kinda like your your clips maintaining focus add a little Gaussian blur effect here and at the beginning it says alright go to Gaussian blur it means we're zero blur right now so we go to the beginning horizontal range make it about 150 so it's going to be really blurry so about maybe right here when cold train starts running towards me hit the little plus symbol and then drag down horizontal range so that means from this point to this point uh... the blur will slowly dissipate so that's how you use keyframing and then maybe if you wanted right when you hit the uh... right when you hit the headshot maybe a little flash or something or, or glow all you gotta do is maybe add glow uh... reset to none right when you get the headshot right before you fire hit the plus right when you see the head explode hit the plus and then bump up the intensity a little bit and then right after the headshot add hit the plus symbol again to create another keyframe and then bump it down to reset to none so you got a nice little flash here for your headshot now if there's a music in the background you could have synced that to make the kill look a lot better so now your clip looks like this sounds erotic yo get your shoddy out dude that's how you keyframe guys and now to the rendering part so this is kind of a rendering and a keyframing tutorial and a quality tutorial all in one so to make sure you just render this little portion drag over to the beginning and render as now I have mine on WMV you can go to custom and we'll start at video I have my frame rate at 29.970 and pixel aspect ratio 1.0 square seconds per keyframe 3 if you go to bit rate I have my bit rate on 3M megabytes and project best now we'll see how it renders very fast. We'll just call this, I um, call it blind fire. 
and with no time this clip will render out and it will be done that's how you render in Vegas guys uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful and if it was please give me a thumbs up peace out sounds erotic yo get your shoddy out dude <laughs> get your rape out <laughs>